Note-taking has been around since the age of the pen and paper, but this number one hack that I have is something that most people have never thought of. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. And in this video, I'm just going to simply show you something inside of Google Docs. And it may change everything for you. So every week when we meet with one of our clients, we have an ongoing relationship. Could be a three, four, or five-year relationship ongoing. And we use a single Google Doc for all notes, for all time. And this hack is as follows. We cover the same subject matter and we have the same format every single week. What did we do the last two weeks? What are we gonna do the next two weeks? What we need from the brand? And what, what are the sales report? Like, are the numbers good? Are the numbers bad? And we add the dates at the top and we add all the new information at the top of the Google Doc. This throws off lots of people. So day one, when we hire a new employee, we explain this in our onboarding information. How to take notes at my Amazon guy. Add notes to the same doc on the same subject or meeting matter at the top of the Google Doc. There's a lot of benefits for this. First of all, a single location for all notes. So if you have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with an employee, you could have the same weekly cadence and always go to the same document. And then you're in the middle of that meeting, hey, what about that one thing we talked about three weeks ago? And just simply scroll on down and go find it. Uh, and, and by adding it at the very top, you can always find the newest information very quickly. So if you're on the fly, you're, you're on your cell phone, you're pulling up the doc, you don't have to scroll down all the way to the bottom of the document, it's at the top. You have the latest and greatest information. Maybe you have two employees that are setting up a meeting and you can't make the meeting and you want to see and go back through and look at it. Common note-taking etiquette, you get the idea. But by placing it at the same location, at the top of the document, it allows for lots of tracking, history. You can go back and forth and say, hey, I had this particular graphic completed for this listing on Amazon. Or I had this particular thing published at this time. All of these annotations for the history of, of the account. And what's really awesome about this is if at any point in time I go to sell my Age of Sage brand, I'm not, I'm, I'm building the hold. I got a daughter, I'm going to give this brand over to her someday. She is going to be able to take 10, 15 years of notes in one single document. Now, if this document got too large, we could always break it up and say, you know, this was 2023, this was 2024 and cross link it between the document. One of the other nice things about Google Docs is you can cross link other documents like this Walmart listings right there. We got a Google sheet and it immediately I can go over to that doc and link it back and forth. So really awesome functionality occurs in Google Docs. This is a very underutilized technique on how to do all of these things. Another really cool thing that's come out recently um, inside of some enterprise tools inside of G Suite. Uh, so you Microsoft people or you other people that don't use G Suite technology through Google, you won't get a hold of this. But when you record a meeting, you can actually record a transcript and that'll save it and send it automatically to everybody. Um, AI and chatbots have come a really long way. That's another great hack that you might want to check out next. So here, for example, I had a meeting this week. Uh, the transcript shows the attendees, it shows the transcript. And if I want to go back and run a, say, a control F for a topic, something like this, I could go in and just scroll down and find it. It's got the timestamps of the people in the order the conversation happened. Uh, and, and one meeting could be 12 pages of notes like this. So lots of note technology has come a long way. But even if you don't have access to an enterprise tool like this, you can still use a Google Doc and add notes to the top of it every single time you have a meeting. So that's my note-taking hack today. Hope you enjoyed that. For other business hacks, you might want to check out this uh, playlist next. I talk about my favorite business books I've ever read and how they've impacted my business.